Hey everyone, my name is Michael Mendes. I am the content director at Gospel and Gaming, and welcome to our gaming news video for April 2017. And the first topic I'd like to discuss is about a bunch of new info that Microsoft has shared about its upcoming console called Project Scorpio. Now, earlier this month, Microsoft allowed a few gaming journalists to take a close look at the technology that makes up Project Scorpio, including a full rundown of the specs. Now, I won't go into all the details here, but suffice it to say, it's pretty beefy for a console, and it should provide some tangible benefits, regardless of whether you have a 4K TV or not. Now, it's also worth noting that it's very unusual for a console maker to go into this much detail about their new hardware this far in advance of its release. That's currently scheduled for a holiday 27 release, so the end of this year. Uh, Microsoft is really showing confidence in this new in this new console, and that's something that they need to do because they've lost a lot of customers to Sony over the last few years, and they really need to work hard to bring them back. Uh, this is really Microsoft's best chance to make a big splash with gamers, and so all eyes are going to be on them at the big E3 conference this June. Now, if you'd like to see the full specs on Scorpio and lots of tech talk about GPU and CPU and memory and lots more stuff like that. Uh, we've got a link in the video description and on the website page that will take you to one of the outlets that got to see the console firsthand. The second piece of news I'd like to discuss is that Mail.ru, which is the Russian internet business that controls most of the social media sites that Russians use, is creating a new games investment division called Games Ventures that will be able to provide a hundred million dollars in the long run to fund various game development projects. As it stands now, most of the game developers live and operate in North America and Western Europe, which really shouldn't come as too much of a surprise, considering that that's where the most wealthy nations are, most of the most prosperous nations are in those areas, and they have governments that will allow them to create games freely. So it's always interesting and exciting when someone from another part of the world takes a stab at game development. Uh, game developers from other cultures can come up with ideas for gaming or, or storytelling in gaming that we otherwise wouldn't get to see. Now Games Ventures, this new investment division, isn't just going to be funding projects from Russia. They'll be funding projects from around the world. But hopefully just the presence of a major company like this getting involved in gaming, investing in gaming, will help to spur aspiring game developers in Russia to pursue a career in this industry, and hopefully the Russian government will prove to be cooperative in that effort as well. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out gospelandgaming.net for more gaming and ministry news, and have a good one.